stuff's come in and what we have here is my new APOC 2-2 wetsuit. It's a long sleeve, short leg, probably gonna be my main foiling wetsuit. Front zip, yeah, very important, much easier to get on. Um, yeah, what makes the right engine wetsuits really special? First off, they got really nice exit holes. Um, on the neck, prevents the wetsuit from bloating up when you get dragged through the water. Happens at high speed quite a lot when you smash in with the foil. Um, again, great front zip. Front zip. It's got a limestone-based um, neoprene. It's pretty much uh, universally sort of standard for high-end wetsuits. It's really like super stretchy and yeah, keeps you nice and warm. Uh, another great thing about the right engine wetsuits, they're really environmentally friendly. Most other wetsuits have chemicals in the wetsuits which still help them dry out faster and so on. Right engine has left those out um, basically because these chemicals eventually start seeping into the water and that's not really something you want happening. I mean, we're all water uh, users and we want to keep the water as clean as possible. This is not some super special high tech wetsuit, it's a 2 2. Uh, on Vertical Ventura, we typically don't need super thick wetsuits. The thickest I wear here is a 3 2. And yeah, I'm going to go try this out and then talk about it tonight and uh, tell you how it all uh, fit and worked and uh, yeah, if it kept me warm. All right, see you later. So that was a pretty decent session. Um, pretty gusty offshore wind, but nice flat water to do jumps on. Uh, with all the rain showers, didn't actually get all the filming done that I wanted to. So sorry that there's no, not a lot of external shots. Um, I'm gonna try doing that again tomorrow because I'm actually trying to film sort of like a foil air style video um, too. So hopefully tomorrow it will rain less. So let's get to the wetsuit. Great suit. Um, almost nothing to complain about it. It fit perfectly, it didn't have any wrinkles or anything anywhere. Uh, I normally wear an L with the Bernardi and XL suits. This suit fit exactly the same. So very, very happy with that. 
Um, surprisingly warm for only being a 2-2. Um, normally in this type of weather I would be wearing at least a 3-2 um, long sleeve suit and this was fine. Um, surprisingly, I, was, I thought I'd be getting cold after an hour or two and survived three hours on the beach and it was good and it was cold weather. It was rainy, frontal things, it was all under 20 degrees. Everyone out in sort of nice thick jackets so really nicely well done. The neoprene is quite high quality. So perfect on that front. Um, there's a few nice little features on the suits. Um, the main thing is you have a nice little key pouch that's actually under the zip in the front. It's quite good because you, know, you feel your keys. Um, just a gripe in general to all the wetsuit manufacturers. Why don't you make like the key pocket waterproof? Um, nowadays all the keys really can't get wet and the keys have chips in them so if they're wet you can't actually start your car um, so nowadays you have to buy an extra little pouch to put your car keys in or you have to try to you know if you're lucky you have an extra key that's just like the thing that opens your door and you can take that with you but it would be so much nicer if you just made a waterproof pouch you know you know make the pouch waterproof itself so you don't have to buy an extra accessory yeah, just food for thought um, so yeah that's quite nice having it there. Would be cool if it was waterproof. Uh, as I said, fit was perfect. It was really warm. What really surprised me again was how you didn't really feel the suit. It was perfect. Uh, no resistance to any movements. I felt really free. Um, so, yeah, perfect. Um, now let's get to some points which I would like to criticize a little bit. Um, in this price class, I would have liked to have seen the cuffs on the uh, arms and on the legs to at least have a seam around them to prevent any tearing or ripping of the neoprene. I don't know, maybe the neoprene from Ride Engine is that strong that you don't get any nicks in it and so on and it won't tear. Um, but generally, in any decent wetsuit where you know it's in that higher end cost, you'd at least have you know the neoprene doubled over and you'd have a stitching around it. Um, I might be surprised, um, and it will last forever, and nothing will happen to that. But in general experience, if on a cheap wetsuit where it's cut off at the bottom, it will eventually start fraying and falling apart. And I hope that's not the case with the Right Engine APOC, but. In general, all wetsuits in that price class have a seam on the cuffs and on the legs. But talk to me again in two, three months, and we'll see how the wetsuit fared. And uh, yeah, we'll have a look at that. So if you're thinking about getting, uh, you know, your summer suit, this is pretty good. It's got long arms, short legs. It's quite warm, quite w more wind resistant than I thought it would be, and. The flexibility is amazing. Super stretchy neoprene. It feels like you just have like a normal Lycra on. And for me, that was perfect. From a pure performance standpoint, amazing. Build quality wise, I don't really want to say that, okay, it looks like it's made cheap, but not having that seam around it, around the cuffs and the legs, um, it worries me a little bit. Um, yeah, but in the long run, we'll have a look at that. Uh, so, yeah, I'm actually pretty happy with that suit. I hope it lasts me a long time. And yeah, that was my little comment on the Right Engine APOC 2.2. Yeah. Little disclaimer, uh, I am a Right Engine dealer on the island. However, I do not sell the Right Engine wetsuits because we can't get a hold of them. So um, if you can find a Right Engine dealer who has one, on the mainland, go out and try it. I think you'd be pretty happy with the suit and go for it. And hopefully can get them in to the shop maybe next season um, or through another importer in Europe. All right, I am really looking forward to the harnesses arriving sometime next week and then expect another video reviewing those. But for now, tomorrow, hopefully gonna go out and shoot the rest of the air style video and have a nice fun session. All right, good night, see you next time.